topic natin today would be introduction lang. I mean, simple calculus. Particularly integral calculus. Areas bounded by a curve. And then volume of solid of revolution. So, kung mag pinag-usapan natin, area bounded of by a curve or two curves or a line or an axis, we have to have two curves. In isa, let's say y squared equals 4x, then isa, y, x equals to y. We know that the, from analytic geometry, alam natin na ito ay parabola with vertex at the origin and opening to the right. And then this one is a line. So graph natin. Graph muna natin yung line. Mas madali na ma-plot yun. When x is equal to y, so if x is 0, y is 0. If x is 1, y is 1. x is 2, y is 2. x is 3, y is 3. And then x is 4, y is 4. Now, we know that this parabola, yung vertex niya, nasa origin, opening to the right. So, it intersects somewhere here. Hindi pa natin alam. Ito, hindi alam natin. Pero, for sake of solution, wait na natin. So, paano natin makukuha kung saan sila nag-intersect? Simple lang. Simple lang, di ba? We just equate the two equations. Substitute, substitute equation 2 to equation 1, or equation 1 to equation 2, kung ano yung mas madali. So, we have y squared equals 4y. Ngayon, ito yung common mistake natin y squared equals 4y. We divide both sides by y. Make sense? So we have y is equals to 4. And if y is equals to 4, then x is also equals to 4. Which is correct. But, also wrong. We say we have squared, so there are two roots. We have two points of intersection. There are two possible uh, answers. So how do we get that? Instead of gawin natin yun, ilipat natin yung 4 y's kabila. transpose natin. We factor out y. Then, di ba sabi, if a times b equals 0, then a is equals to 0, or b is equals to 0. So, y can be equal to 0, or y minus 4 equals to 0, which gives us y equals to 4. So, y1 equals 0, y2 equals 4. So, if y1 equals 0, x1 is also, dahil dito ah, equals 0, if y2 is equals to 4, then x2 is also equal to 4. So, ang point of intersection niya would be 0, 0, and then 4, 4. Now, we are asked to solve for the area bounded by this curve. Nakaya natin. So, actually, simple lang itong example na ito, kaya lang gusto ko lang ma-explain sa inyo ng mabuti. Kasi ang uh, ginagawa ngayon, i-memorize yun na lang yung formula ko without even knowing kung bakit yung minememorize at kung saan galing yung formula yun. Whereas naniniwala ko, mas madaling i-memorize kung alam mo kung saan galing at alam mo para saan. Bigyan ka sample. I'll give you 6 digits right now. 11, 13, 17, 21, 8, uh, 26, 32, ilan na yun. Mas mahirap i-memorize, diba? But what if I tell you this? Bigyan kitang 6 digits kasi yun yung lalabas mamaya sa loto. Hindi ba mas madaling i-memorize kasi alam mo para saan. So now, let's proceed. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Dito, dito, dito. Yan. So, how do we get the area? Ah, uh, ito pwede sa geometry. Let's talk about general. In general, how do we get the area? To simplify things, imagine the integral sign being a summation. Summation of all one. Of all tiny little elemental strips. And then, kuha ko ng isang strip dito. Laki yan to. I-zoom ko, kumbaga. Yeah. Isang strip yan. Pero dahil sa sobrang liit niya, negligible na to. Negligible na yan. 
So that is now simply I, a rectangle. So if that's a rectangle, anong dimensions niya? Dahil yung mga differential strip natin, along y, yung width niya is dx. Kasi, uh, differential width with respect to the x-axis. O yung maliliit na width nila with respect to the x-axis. And now, what is the distance? Uh, what is the length? At any point here, this will be given by, let's call this y above. Kasi ito yung nasa taas. Yun lang. Then this is given by y below. At any point, di ba? This is from here to here is y above. From here to here is y below. We just simply have to substitute the value of x para malaman kung nasaan yung y above at saka malaman kung nasaan yung y below. Given that, mula dito, hangga dito, that is y above. Diba? And then mula dito, hangga dito sa baba, that is y below. So, what is the width of this rectangle? Simply y above minus y below. So, kunin natin yung area. Note nito. Pero hindi naman ito area ng buo. Area lang ito ng maliit. Or let's call this the differential area. Ano yung differential area? Length times width. y above minus y below times width dx. Pero gusto ko makuha yung area ng buo eh. So, pag samasamahin ko sila, integrate ko siya. A equals y above minus y below dx. From where? From the limits. Dahil dx tayo, ang limit natin, yung mga value of x. In this case, equal lang naman. So, okay lang. Pero always remember that. Kung dx, ang limits mo, x1 and x2. Kung dy, ang limit mo, y1 and y2. And then, that's simple na. Diba? Ya, ano yung ya natin? This is y squared equals 4x or simply y is equals 2 square root of 4x. Substitute mo doon, y above. yb mo is x is equals to y. So, ang yb mo is simply x. So, yun. And then, direct sa calculator. That's simple. Ayun, ano yung point ko? Ang dami-dami nyo kailangan memorize sa area. Pero, using this concept lang, kung alam mo lang kung saan sila nang galing, alam mo i-analyze. Alam mo kung sa hindi mo na kailangan mag-memorize sa formula. Actually, hindi mo naman talaga kailangan mag-derive. Kasi derivation means kung isi-simplify mo siya sa dulong form niya. Pero doon sa raw form niya, that's simply pinalabas mo lang yung concept. Tignan mo sa volume, ah. What is the volume of solid of revolution? Imagine we have a square. And then we revolve it along this axis. So, papaikutin mo. Parang yung ginawa sa'yo na x mo. Pinaikot ka lang. So, joke lang. So, paikutin natin yan. Anong mangyari? nakabuo tayo ng cylindrical disk. Yan yung volume na yun of solid of revolution. Kung dito naman yan, and then dito yung axis mo, dito mo siya pinaikot, ang mapoform mo, parang ganito. Yan. So, may sinasabi si Papus. Ano yung sabi ni Papus? Papus theorem. Double P. Yung volume daw of a solid of revolution is equals to area times the circumference. Anong circumference? From the radius of the area to the axis of revolution. So, if this is x, ang r mo is x over 2. If this is x ulit, That's x over 2 plus itong distance na to na hindi natin alam. Okay? So, tignan natin ngayon. What is volume? Kung tayo ng volume nito, i-revolve natin along this axis. But, syempre, ang gagawin natin, hindi naman natin makukuha yung volume. Kunin natin yung volume ng maliit or yung differential. Volume equals to 2 by what is radius? Sabi niya, mula dito hanggang dun. Di ba ito is y above minus y below? So, mag-a-agree kayo na yung kalahati niya, y above minus y below over 2. Plus ito, plus y b. So, ang radius mo is y above minus y below over 2 plus y b. Okay? So, ang radius mo is y above minus y below over 2 plus y b. 
times yung A mo, ang A mo in this case is yung differential area kasi differential volume or ito. Ah, uh, gugulan tayo ko to y above minus yb times gx. O simply ayan na. Bida, pero ito yung differential volume. If you want to get the whole volume, integrate. So we have volume is equals to the integral of 2 pi times ya minus yb all over 2 plus yb times ya minus yb dx ang haba nakakatakot i-memorize pero hindi mo naman kailangan i-memorize yun eh alam mo naman yung area ng rectangle di ba? alam mo naman yung centroid ng rectangle ang tatandaan mo lang yung, yung papos theory which I think napakasimple lang naman 2 pi ra so ayan na Ngayon, bakit sinisimplify pa yung dati nating mga formula? Kasi dati, hindi naman ganun ka-powerful yung mga calculator natin. Pero ngayon, powerful na. Kaya pwede mo ng input, ito mismo. Substitute mo lang yung value ng y above dun sa y below. And then yung limit mo, from 0 to 4. Yun na yun. Pero, dati nga, dahil hindi naman ganun ka nakas, yung mga calculator, kailangan pang simplify. Try nga natin yung simplify. Pero, ay, may I record, may I, ano yun? Di ba ang dami yung may memorize? cylindrical disc, washer, dome, as depende pa kung saan yung axis niya, depende pa kung saan siyang al aling quadrant siya, or open to the left, open to the right. So, yun, yun pa yung mga kailangan yung i-memorize. Pero with this, hindi naman ito i-memorize yun eh. Tatandaan nyo itong concept. Volume is equals to 2 pi r, what is r? The distance from the center to the axis times a, what is a? That's the differential area. Pero just in case, tingnan natin. Tuloy lang natin to. Pwede ko bang ilabas yung 2 pi? Pwede. Kasi constant naman siya. Simplify natin to. All over 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1 times ya minus yb equals ya minus yb. 2 divided by 1 times yb, that's 2yb. That's the radius. Then, yung area pa rin, ya minus yb dx. Pwede ko ba cancel to kasi lalabas ko naman yung 1 half. So, we have pi. Simplify, ya minus yb plus 2yb, that's positive yb. Then, we have ya minus yb dx. Ito na. Ito magiging familiar sa inyo yung formula. A squared minus B squared equals A plus B times A minus B. Difference of 2 squared. So, YA plus YB times YA minus YB just equals to YA squared minus YB squared dx. I think, ito ang formula na familiar sa inyo. But that's the formula familiar to you for one scenario only. But to know every scenario, you just have to know the theory. Papus theorem plus counting calculus lang.